All right, guys. Today we're gonna talk about reading your opponent. All right. In order to kind of figure out what you're going to do, you kind of need to know what your opponent is going to do. And before we jump into things, uh, I would like to say thank you to Gamely, who's gonna provide all the editing again. I uh, hope you guys like these edited videos because uh, Gamely likes them, right? And you can check out more videos like this on their website. They got a bunch of guides for different lanes, even champion-specific guides. Definitely check them out if you are just curious about the other educational content there is um, out there, right? It's all in one place at Game Leap, okay? So let us get started into this. The format of this video is going to be very logical, okay? First, we're going to look at an example of what this looks like. What does it mean to read your opponent? What should it look like? You should be able to do this if you can implement the ideas in this video. This is one idea in the video, okay? We're going to work on this one habit, which is every time an opponent shows up on your screen, you must figure out what they are going to do or even what they can do if you're that advanced, right? What do you think they're going to do and what can they do, okay? And that's basically the habit in a nutshell, all right? You're gonna see them on your screen. What are they gonna do? You have a plan for it, execute, okay? So first we'll have an example, then we'll, sh we'll kind of walk you through step-by-step step through two more clips to kind of like break down the thought process. And then for the rest of the, you know, three, four, five, six clips, who knows how many we'll get to, we will, it'll basically be a quiz, you know? We'll play the video in real time. It's up to you to kind of figure out if you can find out what the opponent is doing so that, you know, you can practice this idea without actually having to play the game. But of course, you should be practicing these ideas when you play the game, okay? So let me show you what this looks like, all right? So let's play the first clip. In this clip, it's gonna be easy 2v2, right? We're going in, looks like we're just going on Tristana. Oh yes, we got the nice flash and a W, easy clap, right? Okay, so kind of uh, simple, right? What was the, I don't know if you could spot the uh, educational part of this fight, but it was definitely flashing the hook, right? How do we know a hook is coming? Well, if uh, you know, <laughs> if you ever play Thresh, you know that you're always gonna try and hook the ADC. So we kind of prep ourselves. We'll say, if Thresh hooks, I'm gonna flash. Do we care about Flay? No. Do we care about Lantern? No. Okay, just hook. And then you look at Tristani and you say, she's jumping away, right? Do I have to prepare anything for her? No, we're good to go. So it's very much, if someone shows up on your screen, figure out what they're going to do next. Sometimes, you know, what important abilities they're gonna throw at you, right? You can do a, a checklist. You could say, is there anything I have to watch out for? And then what are they gonna do next? Okay, that's kind of the habit building. Every time you see someone on your screen, any threats, what are they gonna do next? And then uh, any threats in their abilities, I should say, or maybe even like items, I guess, if you wanna go that far, like uh, Spooky Ghosts or Hexite GOP or Protobell or whatever. But that's kind of the process, okay? So let me show you the next clip. It's going to be same idea. We're gonna pause though, so we can show you what we're looking at. So here we're gonna pause and we say, oh, okay, we have a Ezreal, anything to watch out for? Maybe like, W, maybe like Q, but it's not like big fish. It's not like big things. Maybe if it's 50 minutes in, those are big things to watch out for. But for laning phase, not as important, right? We see a pike coming for us. Okay, E flash, hook, flash hook, right? E flash or flash hook or just regular hook. That's it, right? That's what we're looking for. Do we have anything, any way to beat it? Yes, we have flash. Okay, good to go. Just flash his hook. We don't care what else happens next, okay? So we press play. We see, uh, we don't care what Ezra is doing. Oh, I see a hook, boom, flash. No problem, easy. That's kind of how simple this idea is, is literally they show up, just go through the threats really quick, and then what are they gonna do? Of course, they're gonna throw the threats at you, right? And if they have no threats, then what are they thinking? So as you're thinking, I wanna hit Jin, right? Pike has a threat, I mean, he's just gonna, he's just gonna hook you, okay? And uh, I mean, we can watch the rest of this play out, right? Uh, you're just gonna run him down and then die, and because you know, we read them like a book, we just kill them all, right? Easy, and you just win lane like that, okay? Third clip, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna walk through it. Okay, this is a team fight. It's actually, uh, it's a little easier in lane or uh, where, you know, it's only like two people plus a jungle. When you get into the team fights, it's gonna be a little bit messier, right? So like, oh, we take a look, we see Soraka. Anything, any threats? No, good to go. Okay, Graves, any threats? Maybe you can Q ulti, right? Maybe you can smoke screen, but let's keep going, right? So, oh, he used Q, good to go. And then Zerath, oh, of course he's gonna stun. So that's kind of the thought process. They show up on the screen, Number one threat from them, do I need to do anything about it? That'll tell you what they're gonna do. And let's say there are no threats, then they're just inting. You just kill them, no problem. 
hit them, right? So he's gonna throw his D. It's and you see the E animation, you flash, right? You don't really have to worry about, uh, you know, what you're doing. If you're like lower rank, like uh, anything from iron to like plat one, I guess you could say maybe in diamond, diamond five, you might have to work on what your champion is doing. Like, uh, let's go back here. If we take a look at this clip, it's like, oh, what am I doing? I'm Eing in, I'm auto attack Q, isolate Q, throwing a W, right? That should be kind of automatic. And then you move on to this step, which is you already know what you're gonna do. Now you need to figure out what your opponents are gonna do. So this is geared towards like the diamond elo range, but if you're already if you're like a one trick or you know your champion really well, you should definitely start working on this idea. This is kind of like something you need to do once you know what all the champions can do and once you know what your champion can do. Okay. And now we're on to the quiz time, right? So I'm gonna show you some real life examples, or I guess, you know, in-game examples. And uh, you're gonna try and do this habit process right where you will see them on the screen threat what are they going to do okay and by threat i mean what abilities do they have that can threaten you and that will really tell you what they're going to do right and uh it's okay if you can't really do this that fast feel free to pause at any time you can uh, in a beginner way to do it or i guess you know to first start out you could just press pause and uh every time you see a new champion and figure it out and then move on and then the more you do this the faster it will get until you can get as fast as me, okay? So if you don't want spoilers, you can mute, but I'll be going through this kind of in real time, all right? I'll be talking through the thought process in real time, no pauses, all right? So let's take a look at this. Okay, I'm playing Kaylin. Um, we're looking for this. Silas uses stun, right? Okay, four people missing, right? Silas has no threats. Oh, Lucian has no threats. Here he uses E. No problems here, right? Maybe the bush, bra multi, right? Sure, sure, sure. Let's keep going. See LeBlanc mid. She's not close enough. Easy kills, easy kills. No problem, let's run him down, right? Okay, cool. Someone's inting down there, it's not my problem. I mean, you can just kill him, I guess. So we're just looking at LeBlanc here, that's the only threat, huh? And uh, Brahms is trying to run, LeBlanc's trying to do something spicy, maybe we can get a playoff. I couldn't get the trap off in time, maybe if I had flash. Okay, Renekton and stun. Boom, ready to flash over the wall. You see how that? You see how we primed ourselves? And we sit, sat next to the wall ready to Q flash? Okay, Brahm. Okay, cool. And then here I'm like, okay, LeBlanc. Okay, she's gonna try and kill me when I go for her, okay? So prep flash. Okay, good. Easy, right? So you see how the thought process in that play was very kind of quick, right? And you'll notice that in your games, not everyone has a threat. Once you process that it's 5v5 or 5v4 or winning, you can take the fight. We move on to this step of figuring out who or what is going to be a threat to you in these fights and you immediately come up with it the instant you see the champion to make sure you're not going to get surprised, right? So you see the important parts where the Renekton walking at us. He's ready to flash W. I'm like, okay, I'm going to flash over. I can trap myself, flash over, Q flash, anything along those lines, that'll work, right? And LeBlanc ready to kill us on the tower. I'm not sure if she's going to R or W or QE or whatever, but I'm I know she's going to do something. So I'm going to use flash to dodge it because I know I can kill her afterwards, right? So only after you know what your champion can do, can you start thinking about these things because you don't really want to be thinking about what your champion can do while you have to fight, right? It's like, oh, my Q throws out damage and then you already like got stunned by your Nectin, right? No, you need kind of want to get very familiar with your champion first, which is why a lot of people, including me, recommend that you play as few champions as possible, all right? That way you won't be stuck thinking, what can my champion do, right? Okay, let's keep going. Same thing, okay? I'm gonna keep talking. Feel free to mute if you want spoilers. You're gonna do this by yourself. Definitely pause and slow mo, right? Slow the video down, pause, whatever. But I would encourage you to do real time because that's what you're gonna do in game, okay? So let's look at this one. Okay, there's a Baron. We're looking to ulti. I want to hit the Ezreal, right? Oh, he's dying for sure. Okay, he's gonna flash over the wall because that's the only thing he can do, right? Boom, easy, All right? It's not because I've already seen the clip. It's just that's my initial reaction, right? Okay, next. Let's keep going. I'm playing Kaisa. Okay, I can't tell what's going on here, so let's take it really slow. So Johnny has ulti, I didn't see it used yet, right? Oh my god, look at these pink words. Thresh hook, right? Okay, Tristana just trolling. She can't jump on me. Okay, still still so Johnny ulti. Prepare flash, right? Okay, Zed has ulti for sure. Okay. Zed's not there anymore, so it's gonna be a hook. That's it. Just kill his ass. Okay, hook's gone. And then she's trying to take the blast cone, flash for it. Easy. No problem, right? So you see how that kind of thought process, it's like your thought is faster than me saying it. You'll actually think faster than you can say it. It's like reading. Well, it's actually, it's actually really funny, right? It's because like reading a book, now we want to speed read and we want to speed read the situation, okay? It really is like reading words, but instead of words, we're reading the situation, okay? Let's keep going. I'm gonna do a few more. We definitely have time for a few more. This one is Oriana. Okay, I'm looking at Ziggs. He's trying to go over the wall. Pike's trying to hook, right? Timo just doesn't do shit. Okay, that's fine. And then, oh, okay, Lucian trolling. Sure. Okay, out of GA, he's gonna go over the wall, right? 
And Pike is looking to hook, if he has hook up. Oh, he's going over the wall, he's dead as hell. Oh, easy, right? That's all we need. Let's move on to some more harder ones. I think this will be uh, more fun for you guys. Last two are really, really uh, higher level, okay? So let's take a look at this. Ezra doesn't do shit. He already uses E. That's a Nico. Nico E, Nico ulti. Sure, uh, that's a fake. Silas is looking to E flash maybe, right? E and then E flash, sure. Okay, Nico's still up there. Sure, sure, sure. We can hit this guy for free. Okay, Nico uses E. Ulti's down. Look at Silas. Rengar. Okay, Rengar's gonna jump, right? That's the main one. Okay, he's dead. Okay, Nico's doing her thing still. Woo, we almost died it. Uh, sure, dodge that one, right? Uh, okay, okay, Karma doesn't have anything. Nico E-Flash, boom. See how fast it is, right? We know what she's going to do because, you know, that's the, literally the only threat in her kit. Everyone else is, doesn't do enough damage for me to worry about, right? And then easy cleanup, right? Once you've, a certain, once you've ascertained that they can't really do anything to you, they're not a threat, that's when you can hit the closest guy, all right? And, you know, assuming even numbers. We don't get into that in that video, but, you know, assuming even numbers, all right? And then uh, let's do one last one. This one's going to be a lot harder. So if you can do this, you're probably smurfing. All right, let's take a look. Okay, we're playing Twitch. Okay, alley combo. I saw Yasuo ulti. So, uh, Camille and Jax, Monka S, Camille stun, Camille ulti, Jax flash, Jax stun. Uh, Vayne 2, Vayne condemn. Okay, let's take a look. We gotta really kite this out, right? Uh, okay, we're getting flashed on here, which is exactly... Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna stun. Easy, right? He charged up his counter strike. So, of course, he's gonna E flash, right? And at the same time, you need to be thinking Camille's forcing with her ulti, and Vayne is chasing with her condemn. I don't know if you noticed that uh, Vayne died, but, you know... That's how it is, right? So let's redo this one. If you can kind of figure it out uh, again a second time through, right? You will notice that uh, Ali has no combo and Camille E and ulti and flash is on and Vayne is looking. So it's really Camille and uh, Jax until Alistar is combo again, right? And then, you know, once Jax is just running it down for you, you know he's going to flash. Or you can predict he's going to flash. You might not know with like 100% certainty, but... He's convinced me. The way he's playing has convinced me. And that's important because you're playing against humans, not robots, all right? So yeah, I hope that, you know, this kind of format really helps you guys, makes things really clear. That's kind of like what my goal is for these videos is to let you guys walk away with some kind of method to help you train this habit in game. Well, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll teach you the habit and then we'll walk through the habit for a few different scenarios so that when you get into game, you can do the same thing, but by yourself. All right. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more ideas or if you have different video ideas, definitely let me know in the comments. You know, I'm just, I always take clips from my own games. So if it's important, we definitely have a bunch of examples. And uh, yeah, uh, I will see you guys next time, right? Toodaloo.